With a new year, we mark new beginnings. Sometimes we set New Year's resolutions, and let's be real, we, we don't always keep them. But it can be important to reflect and set intentions. And today we have Dr. Michael Walker here to provide some insights into reflecting and setting intentions. Dr. Walker, love to get your insight on this. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you talk, Thanks, can you talk about the difference between intentions and resolutions and why we should focus on intentions instead? Yeah, so, you know, you think about goals or, or resolutions, it's really about a destination or specific achievement that's kind of outside of you, so it's like an external factor. But when we think about intentions, it's really about my everyday lived experience. It's not necessarily connected to achieving a specific goal or destination, but more about um, how am I having this relationship with myself and my relationship with others? Like, how do I want to be intentional about what I'm trying to accomplish? And talk about reflecting on accomplishments and the importance of that. Yeah, so, you know, we all are looking for that dopamine hit, right? Um, when we accomplish a goal, we get excited, we feel good about it. And sometimes, you know, again, when we start our New Year's resolutions, we have all these, um, specifically during this time of year, like diet plans, I'm going to lose 15 pounds. When instead, what we need to be doing is when we set intentions, we can say, I want to live healthier, I want to be more energized. And, uh, you know, those types of things are intentions because it will help us get to that goal of um, losing 15 pounds. And so that's kind of how we need to look at it. But again, when we talk about goals, or, or resolutions, we want to make sure that we are looking at things that we have accomplished in the past. Too often we don't give ourselves enough credit for the things that we have accomplished to help us start to force, um, you know, think forward about what our new goals or new um, intentions should be for the upcoming year. Do you think if we do in fact set resolutions that you could all honestly be setting yourself self up for failure? Yeah, for sure, because, right, if you're not necessarily accomplishing that goal, you don't get that dopamine hit, and it doesn't propel you to continue on with that goal or that resolution. And so, again, when we set these intentions, it gives us these everyday things that we can start, like, right now, today, and we can see success. And, again, we're getting that dopamine hit to keep us moving forward in that pursuit other than this one-time goal that we're trying to accomplish. And you, you can really look at these as the setting of intentions across several different areas in your life, right? Of course, yeah, you can do it for your work, you can do it for personal life. Um, what, you know, I know many people who like get these words, they have like this word of the year and they use that word to kind of help them propel kind of what their intentions will be for that year and how they will um, fight to accomplish their goals. Why don't we give ourselves the credit that we deserve? Well, you know, we live in a society where we're always trying to be better. And so sometimes when we think about giving ourselves that credit, it's really about saying, Did I, do I think I have arrived? Do I think I have accomplished everything I want to accomplish? And we know that as humans, we are always striving to do better, but we have to really focus on things that we have accomplished because, again, that will propel us forward because, again, that dopamine hit helps us continue on that path. And um, society sometimes just helps, makes us think that we haven't done as much as we should when we start to compare ourselves to others. Social media can be such a deterrent with that too. I mean, we, you, uh, you, it's always comparing yourself to other people and you see what other people have accomplished and all of a sudden you do self-reflection, you're thinking, well, I'm not there. And it, it, that, that can really get you in trouble too. Correct, correct. So you gotta be very mindful of that, and which is why you have to set those intentions for yourself. Because again, this is a relationship that you're having with yourself and what you want to accomplish, not focusing on what others are accomplishing. Yeah, and setting that mission statement for the year can kind of help you navigate the year yeah. and stay on track, right? For sure, right? Um, I think it's really well, uh, really good to have a personal mission statement because it helps you start to uh, balance things that you want to spend your time on. And it can, you can always reflect and say, does this align with my mission statement? Is this getting me to where I want to be? And it can deter you from doing things that are not aligned with your mission and your values. And so it's really important to kind of know what that is because it can help you in all sorts of uh, parts of your life. Real quick, do you have a, a word that you're looking for or you're focusing on in 2024? Yeah, I, I keep saying to myself this little phrase is, I want to leave places better than when I found them, right? And so that's kind of what I'm working towards in the work that I'm doing. How do I leave things better than what I found them? Dr. Walker, wishing yeah. you nothing but the best. Have fun at the basketball tournament later today, too. We appreciate your time, though. Thank you, guys. Have a great holiday.